Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a debate on Marvel and we've got Grace, Emily and Ellie. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, who should be the new Captain America and um, we've got Grace is saying Sam uh, Falcon who should be the new Captain America and um, Emily is saying that Bucky should be the new Captain America and Ellie is saying neither so let's get straight into it um let me know what you guys think who should be the new Captain America um and why uh leave a comment down below hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell and stay tuned for more videos have fun so yeah if you haven't gathered I think that Bucky should have become the new Captain America instead of Sam so but saying that I still stand with my point was which I said in the Marvel 2021 reaction which you should check out if you haven't um saying that the name should have been changed to something else so it, sh it shouldn't be Captain America it should be something else but what what I mean by becoming the new Captain America I mean like taking on like sort of like the mantle sort of thing like the shield and everything but yeah the name should change so I can't remember what names I suggested for Sam in the Marvel 2021 reaction but I was thinking for Bucky it could be like the American Wolf or something but yeah um so yeah uh why do I think um I guess he's he's sort of around Cap's level so he's been enhanced with this super soldier serum and he's got like a military background so he's had like sort lots of training and stuff so he's sort of like the perfect fit and his vibranium arm like really goes well with the shield like it's like double vibranium and like like sort of like with a metal arm you'd like be able to throw it even more like with force and stuff so it'd be even more sort of like effective in a manner of speaking which is really good when you're fighting like bad guys or whatever they are like tiny robots or I don't know why I said robots but you know just but yeah <laughs> yeah uh, go for it guys I'm rambling okay, I'm, I'm so sorry I'm sorry so um for, if we want someone to be Captain America, we have to understand why, what it represents. So it always presents like strength, power, having compassion for others. And I think Sam has all of that. He's, um, I think why I want Sam for like to be Captain America is that um, he doesn't have the super serum like, like um, Steve Rogers did. And the fact is he's pure human. He's just a man's fighting to represent his country. And I think that's what we kind of need in, in for Captain America. And um, for example, I think Chris Evans, he actually agreed for Sam to take the title and he's rightful to her, the famous shield. And he quote this, he's proven his courage, loyalty and reliability over multiple films. Sam has given so much and he has also lost so much he believes in something bigger than himself, and that the type and that is a type of humanity which is necessary to carry the shield. And I think that is perfectly to, to that perfectly proven proves how much how much Sam is is the right person to wield the shield. And another thing, the president of the MCU, um, think I think I I'm, sorry, yeah, I can't pronounce the name. He's what he thinks, like from his perspective, is that like the studio is um exploring like more like lesser known characters. And I think this is good because we all know Sam is like a psychic, and so is Bucky. I'm saying that as well. But I think Sam is gonna give a more story to this because during now we are facing some like racial tensions during like uh, 21st century and um, also in the MCU as well and I think um, for Sam he's he's what he's going to represent is like the Black Panther like Chadwick and Bowman he represents like the first Marvel Black hero and that that broke barriers this it stood out throughout the entire franchise and I think Sam will follow those footsteps. Like they, he will stand up to um, 
in equality in in the world in the USA and I think because he has no superpower I think that's still is going to make him more strong to make his make him the most strongest character in the MCU he doesn't need a, me, a metallic arm he doesn't need um superpowers he's just gonna be a normal man with average like strengths and like other ability other agilities to make him a true hero so going back to those qualities that you mentioned what was it compassion um um strength and um power so do you think bucky doesn't have any of those qualities as well then you think that think sam is the only one who but has the that. One, but the one thing i think um sam has that no one does not even like john walker who did became Captain America. I think Sam has compassion. He talks to people. Like um, when he talked to um Carl Carly, when when he first like met her, like like talk, he talks to her. He wasn't gonna start fighting compa- unlike John Walker. He comes in thinking straight for a fight. And Sam just wants to like just just try to get to the bottom of the situation. He doesn't want to fight. He just wants to start with a simple and hum- normal talk as a normal human would. And I think Bucky is all right, but I think like Bucky can be a bit rational sometimes compared to Sam. And I, I think Sam would be proven a more... And... Why do you say he's more rational? He's- Wait, like, rational like, or rational? I remember in the second episode of The Falcon and Winter Soldier, um, Bucky straightway told Sam that they need to take the shield back. And Sam says, no, he doesn't want to get into any troubles. Bucky is willing to do that. And I think, and we also, and we also saw, like we saw this in the TV show, that Sam is the one that convinced Bucky to like, not just to, apart, to um, tell the truth to that um, old man, that he was the one who took his son or grandson away sam sam is quite empathetic and that's what we kind of and that's what was like needed in um um in captain america like steve was still good but sam he gets people and that's what you kind of need in a hero why can't he just remain the falcon he could do the same stuff but he could just remain the falcon Whereas Bucky doesn't have his so own sort of identity, like he's been known as yes, the Winter Soldier, Soldier, but that is not a, that's not a nice name. That is that is the villain name, and he's not the villain anymore. He's been cured. That was what he was in Wakanda for. He's been cured, so he's now just left being called Bucky. So he needs like sort of an identity. So why couldn't he just take over Captain America? And I I agree. I'm not I'm not saying that the Falcon like Sam is not a good character because you're right. He does he is more empathetic. You you are right in saying that. But I, I don't see why he had to specifically become Captain America. I think he could have still remained Falcon and he could have just stepped up a little bit more. I think because Bucky may be still, I think he's just still a bit lost in his own past, like his own troubles. Like we saw him, he's still getting therapy from all the deaths and like destruction he caused. And I think even if he did become the new Captain America, I think it's better to have someone who has been living in the same, like, in the same, like, kind of, like, 21st century, like, someone who grew up and, like, understood, like, the culture. I mean, Bucky is, he's still, I, I, he still is part of, like, like, in their lives now, like, in this cut, in the same year. But I think, I think Sam grew up, like, as an African-American, I think he grew up, like, with, restri- struggles in America and I think if he did became if he became Captain America like full fully I think he would like maybe I think he'd just be a better role model and be a bit more better understanding of the people so he could well, only become a better role model as the cap as Captain America he can't be a good role model as the Falcon no, I'm he not has saying to take that. on an well, identity as America, Captain America it's like, it's like it's like the president, it's like he's like he's taking a higher leadership role than the Falcon. But, That's but is that is that so? Or was that just to do more about Steve? Is that more to do with Steve being Captain America? 
rather than if anybody becomes Captain America. Well, the Captain America represents like freedom and like and like try it, it represents like the country trying to fight for what they stand for. And I think so some, none I, of the other heroes are standing for the country as well. Oh god, you're twisting my words here. I'm just saying I think Sam is a better fear because I think he's got I think he's a very strong hearted person with with power without powers. And I think that's what makes him a better standout. And because I think I just can't imagine Bucky. I think Bucky has his own thing. He's got his kind of Catamarca has a shield, Bucky has his arm, and I think Sam, I think Sam holding that shield could represent so much more. Sam has well. his wings. Sam has its wings. <laughs> there you go. He won't need his wings anymore. He still has oh, it. He can He's still, still use his it. wings. He can still use his wings, maybe. But I, I just don't see why it's necessary. Like Bucky, I feel like I feel like it gradually. I can I can I, this is what I would have liked to happen. I would have liked Steve to pass it on to Bucky and then Bucky to eventually pass it on to Sam. I would have liked that. I think that would have been nice and that would have made a bit more sense. Like Bucky has been Cap's longest friend. Like he knows Cap really well. They've known each other since they were like growing up and they were kids, and he really knows what Cap would have yeah, wanted. Well, Bucky supported they literally he went wanted Sam to together. be the new Captain America. He wanted Sorry? Sam to be the new Captain America. And he was willing to try to get Sam to take the shield because he feared that if Captain, if Steve was wrong about Sam, then he might have been wrong about Bucky. And Bucky is at a state where he's kind of lost his identity. And he wants Sam to find his own identity as well. It's all about finding the right identity. Sam has his own identity. Yeah. But think, if you think of like being a teacher and like teaching kids, and then you could be like a head teacher trying to teach, like trying to get everyone to be so educational and all that. That's what, that's Sam. He could be, he's the head, I think. He can't do that as the Falcon. He has to be Captain America. That's what I'm not understanding. It's like, it's like Obama. It's like he was he was working in politics, but when he became the first black president of America, he he stood out. He broke barriers. He stood up against like inequality. He he done a lot of great things. Think of Sam, because the Falcon couldn't done like much. I mean, he did fall for America, but think of like Captain America. He could be. It could be so much more. That's what I'm just saying. And I think, what what can Bucky do? What do you mean? What can Bucky do? Or what what what, what do you want me to say? Like he can climb ropes, ropes and stuff. Like like what, what do you mean? Like what, what do you want me to say? Like a list of his attributes or something? Because this that is not why this it's not a job. You don't apply to it with a certain skill set sort of thing. It's sort of it's more like about the values, isn't it? Yeah, and I and think I think Bucky has, has the values. Yeah, so does Sam. Yeah, but Sam already, my point is that Sam already has his identity. And I'm saying he could step it up a notch because we haven't seen, you're right, we haven't seen much of Sam at all as the Falcon. He's always, he's always been like that small little side character, just like Wanda was as well. And I think he could really step it up and I think he could become a voice. He, but what I'm saying is Bucky used to be the Winter Soldier and he's committed so many crimes and whatnot all out of his own free will because he was manipulated and forced to do that out of his own free choice. And so he was called the Winter Soldier and loads of people were scared of him. I mean, he caused a lot of trouble. He killed Iron Man's parents and stuff, but he's cured now. He's not the Winter Soldier anymore, which which actually I found a bit annoying because at the end of the show, they had that sort of like that name change, like they changed it from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier to... Captain America and the Winter Soldier. And I'm like, he's not the Winter Soldier anymore. But anyway, that's another thing. But he's not the Winter Soldier anymore. He could take on the mantle for a little bit. And this is his way of, because people are still scared of him. That is why he had to go to therapy. It was part of the conditions, isn't it? Coming back and like, you know, because people were still like, oh my gosh, he's that guy. He's that guy who caused all that, those issues. So he could take on this role with Sam's help, they could they could be a tag team, and they they work really well together. They're really good friends because of Cap, the original Cap, which is going to be so confusing now, which is why I said name changes. But um, but yeah, so this is his way of sort of like maybe standing out to the public, and also just showing that people who are like who've gone 
gone through like a really bad route with stuff, they can also be redeemable. Like, not that he needed to be redeemable, but they don't understand that because they don't really understand what he's been through. So it's just sort of showing that there's also a good side to him as well. So I think he would be perfect. I mean, for sure, he's still feeling guilty and everything, but that stuff he could, maybe this, the role of Captain America would actually help him overcome that. And then eventually, because at some point he is going to want to retire and then he could help Sam take on that role and they could together pave that way for Sam to take on the role. Like, that is what I would have wanted. I'm not saying that Sam shouldn't have become the new Captain America, because I think I think you are right. He he would be a really good fit. But I think, at the end of the day, I think it should have been a bit more of, like, a succession sort of thing, which I, I couldn't understand, like, like because they were teasing it. They were teasing it so many times, like, of, like, Bucky taking over from, uh, from Captain America, like, with him catching the shield and then throwing it back. Like, I, I personally thought that was, like, setting it up. For him to take on the role but then to find out that cap is well we well we don't actually know maybe cap did ask bucky and bucky said no but we don't know but for sam to actually take on the role and i just felt like it could it should have been bucky first i get your point but i think sam will give a more storyline in the next few film, films of the mcu because i think we had in the last episode of the Falcon and Winter Soldier, that he knows that he's already going to receive a lot of hatred from people saying like, oh, Captain America should be white. And, but that's what he's going to do. He's going to stand out. He's going to stand up for himself. He's going to stand up against prejudice. And I think that's what we want to see more in his film. He want, we want to see like, he was not just fighting villains. We want them to see like fighting for the for themselves, fighting for something that is so real and so personal. Well, I do get Bucky, like he's dealing with his own like personal grief and everything. I think Sam will be a bit more, I think it'd just be a bit more relatable for us to watch. I just think Sam is just, I, I, I just can't see Bucky as a Winter Soldier. I mean, can you see him like wearing like a mask like in white and blue and red? I can't. But that, but that's the thing. He doesn't have to wear that. That's the thing. Captain America is. It's not about the get up. It's not about what you wear and stuff. That's not what it's about. No, I know. But so he he could be. He could. He doesn't have to wear blue and red and whatnot. It doesn't have to be that. It could be whatever. And that's the thing. We don't know. But I feel like I agree with what you were saying. Like Sam has got. He he would bring another element to the whole storyline and something that's really um hot at the moment like with talks about racism and like everything like you know it's something that has uh, been around for ages and it's not going to go away but I feel like they, they still could have incorporated that but to say that you think that Bucky there wouldn't have been like a storyline with Bucky I feel like there, there could have been there could have been so much more like we could have seen like a bit more about like, no, I just feel like Bucky would be good as like a, like a mentor, like for like young Avengers to be trained in. And I feel like Sam would be like, just, I think he just needs to take the step of being a leader. And I think Bucky has been like in a dark place for a long time. I think, I think there's just like, like a part of him that just wants to like rest and like stop like, all the fighting and all that like he wants to redeem himself but he needs to um he needs to step up a bit that's why sam helped him to like stop stop like saying like trying to be helpful just try, try to be truthful and be honest with yourself and be and i think with sam he if he takes that leadership role i think I don't know how to explain it, but I just, I just don't think Bucky is at a mentally right moment for the Captain America. I just can't see him taking um, a leadership role where I could see him like... Doesn't, why does it have to be about leadership? Because that's what the Captain America is. It's a, he's, a, he's a leader. He's meant to be the one who leads 
soldiers to fight to protect the but that, people well, that's not what it is anymore is it that that was that was the previous captain america this captain america could do something different it doesn't have to be the same well how is it different well well we're talking about steve right he was he was said he was that is why he became captain america it was for the world war but we're now in a different century and it doesn't have to be about leading people it could be about something else. It could be about showing people what's good, what's right. And I think Bucky would be really good at that. He could really show people that, you know, I, I was I was in this really <laughs> dark place before. Yeah, but if it was like another alien invasion or another um, Ultron invasion, we, we Sam could be like a great leader taking on the role of um, leading the, his team to battle. I mean, I think that's what it is all about, trying to... And See, Sam like, has to be Captain America to lead the team. He can't be Falcon and lead the team. But that's the thing. Like sometimes, I think the Fal I think Sam, like the Falcon, is just like his title in a way. But Sam can like involve. He can become better. He's like he not like better, not like that way. I mean, he can, he can develop into like, into like the Captain America. I think. It's just like one step of like one step of like a title to another, something that you started with, and then something you can end and something you can use that can change the world. And it's But the Falcon, the Falcon, your it is a title, you're right. But the, the reason why he hasn't got any importance is because we haven't been shown that, because he's been a little character on the side. But if they were to develop it even more and bring it out a bit more, he could. That's why we had the show. We've seen, like, Sam's background. We've seen But, his but that show wasn't about that. That show was literally about paving the way for Sam to take on the mantle of Captain America. And it shows, like, we saw, like... He struggled to connect with his like his family, his um like his fam his friends in like his hometown, and he's trying to understand who he really is, what he wants to do. What's that he, got he, to do he, with he, Captain America taking on the role of Captain America? He didn't feel like he should take take the shield, but at the end he did, because he knew if he held that shield, he held some power, and he wants to use that power for good. And I'm not yeah, saying and I'm, Bucky uh, would, but he could have done that himself as the Falcon. I don't think there's a need for it to be Captain America. No, but the the shield is like a symbol. It's like the iconic symbol. Everybody knew it. Everybody knows it in history from like World War Two to the two because everybody knew. Like when you look at that shield, you just think that's Captain America. You just know exactly who that is, and they and it's like. This Excalibur, Excalibur sword or something, whoever holds it, it's like the air, it's gonna be king, he's gonna be a leader, it's gonna be a great ruler. You just know these things, you just know like that symbol represents power and justice. And Sam is the one who wills it because he's- But symbols so, are I, meaningless themselves. We are the people who put meaning to them. So that's the only reason why that shield has yeah. meaning. Yeah, and Sam is a wonderful person who has, who can, like, represent that meaning, because he's one of those who like who, who's been like, unjusted, who's probably he's probably like I said before, he's probably had like prejudice in his life, and I think he could be the perfect one to stand up for justice. He's. Yeah, I'm not saying he shouldn't, but what? I, but why can't? But he could do that as the Falcon, can't he? But but the Falcon is a side character. That's what I'm no, but that's, saying. That's the issue, though. If we hadn't, if if they, if if they eventually brought it out, let's say that what happened was that Bucky eventually got the, he was passed down the Captain America mantle. But then we could maybe see Falcon like grow up a bit more. Like we can see him become like a fully fledged member. Like he would have like a proper part. Like we're seeing for Wanda at the moment with like she like having her own Wanda Vision show and now like taking a really big role. But he's always been Wanda. He's not going to change. He's already, 
became like the no, but what one. I'm saying is that's the thing with side characters, isn't it? You have they start off tiny for the MCU anyway. They start off tiny, but we eventually see them coming up. So you're mm. right. So Falcon was a side like, character, but we can see him build up. But that's there like is an opportunity. Th- but that's like if Agent um, Peggy became Captain America or Britain, whatever, but or Agent Carter. But that's like that. Like she was per- perfect as Agent um, Carter because that's her title. She's an agent. She's the one that she's like the like a very confident woman who is fighting in World War Two. Would you agree if she became Captain Carter, like old Captain America? Well, she wasn't gonna become Captain America. No, no, no. But in, like in What If, like if Steve was going to become the new Captain America, but he couldn't, and then Peggy took the place. Would you want? But that? that's a, that's a, that's a completely different scenario. How? Because that's to do with World War. We're in this in this century that we're living in in the MCU. There, there is no such World War at that time. No, but there, but there will be wars. There will be fights. <laughs> Sorry, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, th- there will be fights, but like he, the Falcon can do it as himself. He doesn't need to take on that can role yet. Why do it as a Winter Soldier? Because the Winter Soldier has got a lot of negativity associated with it. When people think of the Winter Soldier, they think of the people. They think of the person who just kills in cold blood. It's just a machine. And that's not what Bucky is. That was what Bucky was, sorry. Just... Okay, I get that. But I think the Falcon, it is a side character. And we don't really think much of him. And it's really, and that's Sam, because Sam is a great character. And we won't hear much of him here because he is a side character. So I think it's great that if we do, I mean, I get what you mean. Like, they should bring the Falcon as, like, just the Falcon as, like, the new leader. But I think... As Captain America, I think it's a right to have, like, to take the title because it's not going to change who you are. And Sam is just a man behind the mat. He's the, the main man, the, the one who will wield will, will the shield, shield. And I think even if he won't have the Falcon, it will be a part of his, of his identity, but so will the Captain America. It will be new. It won't cover his past as the Falcon. It just be his like his new part of identity, some a new aspect to for him to discover. I get that, which which should have happened after Bucky got the mantle, after Bucky became Captain America, and then he gives it up to Sam. That is what should have happened. At the end of the day, we're just gonna go around and. Say yeah, that. but I just feel like I think I said this before, but I just feel like Bucky isn't. I just feel like Bucky is a bit too old to just, he just doesn't feel like, I just feel like he, I think Sam is more into this, like in the century, like now, because Bucky grew, grew in four in World War II. Well, so did Steve. Steve came into a century not even being part of the century. Yeah, I know, but I think now, like for a new Captain America, they'll probably look for someone fresh, someone like, original in, like, in, like who grew up close to like the year? If that makes sense, and I think there, no, there's no no one's looking for it. No, but they were in Winter Soldier, like the look uh, the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Like they have, they found a new man. They they took him in John Walker. He wasn't good, and he had he didn't have anything to represent the shield, and Sam did, and he he. He got it and he used it. And in the end, we can see that, um, we see how upset he was with, um, oh, oh, sorry, I don't know where I was going there, but um, I just feel like Sam uh, will be a great, he's, he's new, he's different from Steve. And I think, I think that's what we need in a new Captain America. Sam would, Bucky would be kind of the same. He would probably want to repeat Steve's actions. But we don't know that. But we don't know that. And I don't think so. They're they're both two separate people. Yeah, no, but I think he wants to be trying to be as good as Steve. And Sam might as might might be as well. But I think Sam will have a new taste. He's be he's different. He's 
He's just got a new voice. But why, you, but why wouldn't you think that Bucky would have a new take as well? That seems I a bit unfair. Think, I no, I just think Bucky is quite different. Yeah, that's the thing. Everybody's different. Wouldn't no, that different yeah. be good? No, different is good. I just can't. I just think Sam will have a better approach to the to the to the Captain America title. <laughs> um. So my opinion on who would be who I want to be, who I don't want to be Captain America, I'd say no one. Like, I'm very much on the fence. As much as I love Bucky and Sam, they are their own people and their own characters. Cap, or Steve, is his own character. They all have their own superhero names. They all have their own ways, their own looks he they don't need another captain america like i get that sam stepped up and he could use the shield and everything but he can have his own name i feel like they've just thrown him in and been like as much as it's like an upgrade for him and i'm like really happy that he's got all of this he was fine as his own they could have had that upgrade with the ability of him keeping his name Mm -hmm. They didn't need to change it to that or like merge the two or something. Like, I don't think it's a battle between who should have had it. It should have just been left as it is. Yeah, I think that's that's sort of what I said as well. (laughs) 